To me, an untold story is one that has not been given the chance to breathe and be recognized for the story that it is. An untold story can be good or bad, but at the end of the day, there are lessons to be learned from it. I wanted to produce my story, Redefining Memory, as an aspiration to share it in the ways that it was shared to me. This goes into a personal untold story, which I hadn't shared before. When I was outed at 13, I didn't have a community to fall back on. During that period, I met my neighbor, who was an older, gay German in his late 80s. During the times when I needed an escape from everything that was occurring after being outed, he would tell me stories of his past. Stories about what it was like growing up in Germany as gay in the wake of Nazi oppression, with the shadows of the Institute for Sexual Research hanging over him. He told me about the ways that the community shared authentic spaces and worked to try and honor the legacies of the past. One of the few things he ever asked me was to carry on the stories that he told me, which is one of the major factors that pushed me into activism. And now, I hope I'm doing him proud. My story, Redefining Memories, is about the changes that occurred within the LGBTQI communities in Poland and Germany during and after Nazi occupation. Specifically, my story is about the ways that the communities have done work to honor the memories of the past, whether intentional or not, and the work that can be done moving forward. Within my story, I have the connection of also being a member of the LGBTQI community. One of the things that surprised and amazed me during my research was the depth of archival materials that existed, but wasn't necessarily organized or established in a finite way. It was up to the researcher to decide what story needed to be told and where it could be drawn from. The stories and materials from the past exist, but different invisible barriers are present that stop them from being pushed forward. On the most basic level, remembrance is how we learn from generations prior to us. Whether that be mistakes, joy, or warning, it all lies in remembrance. On a more personal level, remembrance and storytelling allows us to keep people and traditions alive past their time. It's a thing of legacy, purely reliant on the will of people. With my story, I want the audience to take away a feeling of drive. I want the story to be something that continues to live past any one person and instead becomes a strong piece of communal knowledge. We can keep memory alive by talking about it and sharing stories. It is up to us to pass memories from person to person, group to group, and generation to generation. By being storytellers ourselves, we keep memory alive.